What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Pro Gamer Manager, the MOBA Manager Mode, and in the last episode, we finished the first half of our Esports League 3 season, uh, we've gone 7-0 so far, we are top of the table, um, up two games over the guy behind us, and things have gone pretty well, besides the fact that we lost another US Open. Um, what a surprise. Guess what? We lost again. Um, you know, not like we've, we've been losing all our international tournaments, you know, ever. Like, come on now, we've always been winning them, right? Right? Yeah. So, we're gonna be starting off this episode, you know, fast and in a hurry, right with a, uh, with a league game, um... You know, we're trying to, hopefully, my goal is to maybe keep with the way that we were doing it um, before with, like, trying to do an entire season in two episodes, right? We were met, we were able to do that in the FPS, but so far, I found that the mobile ones tend to go a little bit longer um, per match, so it may be a little bit harder for us to... Um, maybe a little bit harder for us to actually get, um, an entire season done in two parts. Like, so in theory, get half a season done each episode, but, um, you know, we might be able to do it. Last episode, we did an international tournament and did six matches. So, you know, we'll have to see, um, definitely shouldn't take more than three, uh, episodes per season. Um, since I think we can just barely fit it into two, and that's with, like, not doing anything else. There's no, um, no extra stuff is being done, no international tournaments, no, like, really paying attention or investigating anything. It's just only doing, uh, league matches. So, you know, maybe we'll be looking more to do it in three episodes, that way we're not, like, rushing them. You know, because okay, I feel like if we want to do it in two, we have to, like, as soon as this one's over, immediately go next turn to the next game, right? Um, which is not too far off from what we're doing at the moment. I just noticed it has been a little while, so what do we want to do? Uh, team fighting here, pick phase, lane phase. I think that's what I've been doing. I'm pretty sure that's what I've been doing every time oh gosh don't don't trust me on that one so we are actually uh having a little bit of a deficit at the moment we're currently a little under 200 dollars um in the red every every week but i think we should be able to um be all right with that like we have enough in the bank to kind of cushion us from that like we could take this 200 a month uh like in the red for like a hundred weeks before it would even start feeling uh pressured to actually do anything so um if we can win this league that's even more money going into the bank that we don't have that we can kind of add into that um we've gotten all the staff members all the upgrades besides the i think the last I think the analytics is the only is the only one we have left. Um, it's the next one for the esports points that I know we have to do, um, but I think it is actually the last one for that. And then we're fully upgraded; like everything's upgraded. All our tech ones, all our um, staff ones, and all our uh, esports points ones. So that's pretty good to see, seeing as um, you know, I think that plays a, a, a nice role into finally moving from being that like kind of more amateur semi-pro team to being a professional team because now we have all the staff members right the big one is the director right the the, the board director that is the guy who is the big kind of moving you up from being on that lower tier where you were before to being on that higher level um like we are now right so Hopefully, we will uh, we'll be able to use that to our advantage in this. Kabush getting another 
uh, point to go into his pick phase. He's almost up to a 70 overall. He's actually been improving really quickly. Um, I think he's gotten like three points where everyone else hasn't gotten any uh, recently. So um, he's almost higher than Hawkeye in the... He's actually tied with Hawkeye now. So Hawkeye for the longest time was um, our highest guy. But yeah, so we're fully staffed, fully upgraded in tech. And now we just have the eSports side of things, which is the analytics, which is 300 points. So... We have a little while to go until we are going to be able to uh, get that one. But that's all right. We're not in any rush at the moment to, like, we must get it done. We have to get it done now. Uh, if we don't get it done now, you know, we're not going to be good enough. No, no, it's okay. Right? Oh, excuse me. Those kinds of things, we don't really have to get all the way upgraded until... We're getting into like esports league one right so if we can get it done before we get to esports league two or during esports league two we're ahead of the schedule in my opinion so not too too worried at the moment things have really turned around for us i'd say and i think we're kind of in that stop mode now but you know it, it's too early to like start saying well we can never be beaten because trust me when you start to get into, like, the Pro League and Esports League 1, those teams have, like, almost fully upgraded players uh, through their whole staff. So, like, right now in Esports League 3, yeah, we're crushing these teams because I think we're of Esports League 1 uh, caliber, right? I think we're definitely Esports League 1 caliber. We're not Esports League 3 level. Um, you know, no offense to all those teams in Esports League 3, which this is a video game, so none of them can actually be offended. Um, because they're all just made up, right? <laughs> None of them are actual teams right now. And if you name a team after one of these guys, well, it's not my problem, right? It's not my, it's not my problem. I didn't name the team. You're the one who named the team. So, yeah, deal with it. But there you go. So, we got 270 overalls now. That's pretty strong to have 270 overalls. I'm really happy about it. I think it's um, long time overdue, if I'd say so. Um, we might actually finish this. We are kind of like, we're rolling here. We're we're going next match, next match. We're knocking it out. You know, I just said that I didn't want to rush it, but I feel like I'm so against wanting to play in any more um us opens or any more international tournaments because i just have such like a bad taste in my mouth right like what happened in that last time was just oh my goodness i would i thought it was the time right i thought this was gonna be the time when we finally qualify when we finally do it we're looking good we've made it to the finals you know our team is now 70 overall guys in this team We've got to be ready to qualify for a major, right? Wrong. Of course not. Of course we didn't qualify because guess what? I think the game hates us. I think the game is completely bent on just making us lose and not allowing us to ever win, right? I'm just joking. Like, I, you know, maybe the game is really hating us and really, you know, um, kind of has, has it out to, uh, to get us, but it's a game. So I don't think it really has it out to get us because it is a game. We did win another 16k to zero in this one. So pretty, pretty good again. I'm, I'm happy about that. I, I can't complain about um, that performance. Well, I could, but I'm not going to because it was a good performance, right? Why, why would you complain about a, a, a like perfect game, right? A, a nearly perfect game obviously a perfect game would be like we don't lose like none of our guys die during the entire thing um would be like a perfect game right or like i guess that would be like near perfect because like you can never have a perfect game right you can never have a perfect one because either someone might die or someone's gonna make at least something that wouldn't be perfectly done right someone's gonna do something that may work and may keep them from dying but might not be exactly what the perfect thing to do at that point in time where it would have been the most ideal you would have taken zero 
uh, damage, zero nothing, you know, like, that's perfect. Perfect would be, like, you don't take any damage in team fights. uh, you know, they never picked, they never got a, um, you know, last hit in any of the lane phases, uh, you know, during the lane phase, you know, they never even damaged the, 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 one of your towers, like, that's a perfect game, and I, that's impossible, okay, you want to know something that's impossible to do, because all it takes is someone to try and die for a tower and shoot it once, and guess what, now your perfect game's gone, or, or just kill one creep, and your perfect game is gone, like, you know, seems really stupid, guys, I know, I'm just, like, ranting on about this perfect game that I'm imagining, which is completely nonsensical and impossible um, to do and just is absolutely ridiculous when it comes to, like, actually doing. It's just completely ridiculous, but that's all right. It's okay. I don't, I don't mind it being completely ridiculous. Foxer's points are, like, weird because it's kind of like... His points are, like, kind of evenly spread out, which is cool because it means that he's not, like really good at some places and really bad he's kind of like a little he's really good at some and then kind of like okay in other places like not super super high end but he's just kind of okay right he's just okay i think that is you know oh foxer man if you're watching this you know i'm not saying that you're just okay you know what i'm saying like but you're just okay that makes no sense at all. <laughs> Saying the exact same word with a slightly different tone that I don't think is actually... Like, you're okay or you're okay. Like, the O has a little bit more oomph in it. Like, you just add an extra O in there. You're okay or you're okay. Are you, like, saying hello or are you saying hello? <laughs> like, yellow. Oh, gosh. Guys, I think I'm losing it. I'm losing it. We're winning too much. It's going to my head. I'm starting to go insane. We I don't we can't handle this anymore. We need a loss. We need at least one loss to put us back on uh, on put bring us back to earth. We we don't think we can ever lose again. It's like we're reliving the FPS manager mode all over again. We could never lose. We just always win. What does that even mean? That's pretty much what what we're doing right now we're just like we can't lose to at least any of these teams right i think um my only worry is because we're so ahead of like what we're playing against right now like i think we just won't be able to lose to like by the time we get to like pro league or stuff like that that's actually going to be players that could beat us i feel like we're just gonna be um we're gonna be too good that we're just we're never gonna be able to lose again are we gonna forever be undefeated again like i guess that's like really cool because it's like ah oh, look at that we never lose right when it was like the uh fps uh manager mode that we did before but also at the same time it's like losing is like i don't know when i play most games right most like simulation games uh or or whatever i like to play really hard like when i play um when i first started playing dark souls obviously i played regular you know because everybody loves dark souls right it makes you frustrated as as all get out but it's it's worth it um but now when i play dark souls i love playing deprive right which is kind of like insane it's it's absolutely insane right and i've never played dark souls 3 so i have no idea uh, how good dark souls 3 is um but i would for sure say that deprived in dark souls 2 is so much harder right because like in dark souls 1 with deprived you started with like a club in dark souls 2 i just had my fists man i didn't know what to do and i was like oh my god how am i supposed to beat these things with just my fists like it, i felt like i was doing like a one punch man um like playthrough of it <laughs> but I, I really wasn't trying to but all right, back to the back to the real world here. The the awards we didn't get any awards because except for first place, obviously, because we're obviously the best. Gosh, how could we not get the first place? Clearly, the best team 
out there at the moment. But there you go. Look at that. Finished just in time for the episode to end. Well, well played, guys. Well, we did win another tournament. We won Esports League 3. We're heading to Esports League 2 now. We're getting really close to 300 uh, points for the final analytics upgrade. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you have a comment, question, or concern, please leave it in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next episode.